they found that uh, when it comes to digital transformation, something everybody talks about, success rate is 16 percent. Agility is a skill, right? It's something that once you learn to master, then you can navigate change. Because you know, if there's one constant, right, it's it change. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sorry. Dr. Tan Tamrong now Wasawat. Ah, oh, very good job yeah, with my, yeah. my name. Yes. I have lots of practice. Uh, it's always nice to see you. Likewise. Could you tell us a bit about yourself and what you do at Eclipse at NESB? Sure. Okay, well, as you mentioned, my name is Tan. Uh, the last name is a bit lengthy, right? Because yeah. that is because I'm Thai. I'm from Thailand. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've lived here in Malaysia for the past four years already. So I think, in, in a way, I'm a little bit Malaysian already by now. Um, you go back in time, I came back from the States well, 20 years ago, right, uh, after I got my, my PhD uh, in Illinois, um, in, actually in science, right, the full title of my degree, I think it's biophysical chemistry. Wow. Okay. But I, you know, I, I found that that wasn't really my passion, right, I loved working with people, I loved working with uh, businesses and organizations, so from there I went to work for a consultant firm. Right, um, Boston Consulting Group. Right. right. So I joined them in the U.S., but uh, asked them to be based uh, in, in in Thailand. I wanted to come back and work in Asia. So um, you know, about three years after that, I had my first child. Mm-hmm. So I decided to move from consultancy into working for the client. Right. So I went into um, the multinational company, worked in pharmaceutical uh, and and chemical for a while, um, <clears throat> and then really found that my what I really wanted to do was to help people grow and develop. Right? So I went into leadership development and that's for the 15 years or so in, mm-hmm. in Thailand that I've been doing until I was recruited to come, you know, join us here uh, in KL. So what do you do at ECLIF uh, ASB? Oh, my, if, if there's a kind of a, a specialty on it yeah, and it's yeah. on leadership and management. I right? see. But, but specifically my passion, it's in the brain. Mm-hmm. Right? So what I do is I uh, and I found that that sweet spot between the, the science background that I mentioned to you and also the art of working with people through leadership and management. Um, and then I come, uh, I teach, right? I facilitate, I help people learn those skills, right? Uh, using the, the science. Right. You also mentioned something about the brain. I, 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 yeah. And uh, the name of the program you're conducting for, for ECLIV is also called the brain-based leadership. Yes. It sounds scary. <laughs> Tell us a bit, what, what do you do in that program? It sounds intriguing. Okay. Right? It sounds intriguing. Well, I mean, as the name implies, it's about bringing the brain in to help with leadership. Uh-huh. But specifically on this program, it's about agility. Okay, so it's one of the traits that modern leaders must be able to, uh, to acquire. Right? And I prefer agility over change. Right? Okay. Change is a simpler word, yes. But change implies that it's a one-time thing, mm-hmm. whereas agility is a skill, right? It's something that once you learn to master, then you can navigate change in, in any which way uh, the situation calls for. I see. Uh, including not just yourself, but once you have that mastery, then you can also um, help others right, to lead change with them as well. You must have spent a lot of time researching on this subject matter. Well, tell me, what, what, what is it about this area that's so interesting to you? The fact that it's still, a, I think it's still a problem that's needing a, a solution to be solved. Because I mean, if I were to ask you, uh, when, when it comes to change in organizations, right, what does the success rate look like? Right? Now, historically, uh, one of my mentors, Dr. John P. Cotter, who was the guru of change, right. um, <clears throat> he did this research to find that 70% of organizational change fail. Right? And even recently, uh, even as recent as, the, uh, as this year, uh, McKinsey, the, the, the consultant firm, did a similar study. Mm-hmm. And he found, they found that uh, when it comes to digital transformation, something everybody talks about, success rate is 16%. Right? That means 10 things you're trying to change, only one, right? not even two of those are going to succeed. Right? For something as simple right, and as chronic as change, uh, my fascination comes from the fact that once you understand the brain, then you have some new angle, right? Or perhaps even some new framework and solutions that we can apply 
to make it a little bit easier. So what are some of the more specific issues from the organizational standpoint that you could help people resolve by conducting such a program? Change, transformation, right, agility. Mm -hmm. right? I mean, those are the things that if you were to do a Google hit search today, those are the things that would come up, right? Right. Uh, especially after COVID. Right? Everybody, it's a skill that is classic. It's, it's going to be with us forever. And the more we familiarize ourselves with it, right, the more we can find ways to make change easier as opposed to harder, right? then that benefits all organizations. So if I were to sign up for your program, Dr. Tan, what can I, as a person, expect to learn from you? What, what kind of skills can I take away from it? Well, okay, by the way, you should sign up for the program, okay. not if you were to sign up I for the will. program. Um, <clears throat> well, in the, the skills is that we make it very, very simple. I mm. know I talk about science, right? But at the end of the day, there are four elements when it comes to change. It's belief, action, social, and environment. And once you understood how these four factors play with each other mm -hmm. or interplay with each other, mm -hmm. right, then you have the tools, you have the power to cause yourself to change and also to uh, influence others around you also to change. All right, sounds interesting. Any final words for people who might be thinking about signing up for your program? <laughs> okay, I, 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 mean, I think this is a program that the question really should be who shouldn't be signing up for the program, right? Because uh, it's something that you can use not just for yourself, not just for others, not just in organizations, but also even in your personal life, right? Um, change is something, that, agility, right, is a trait that it's going to benefit you uh, as a leader in the organization, as somebody who uh, aspires to be leaders in an organization, because, you know, if that's one constant, right, it's it change. change. I like that. Thank you very much. You're welcome.